Hey, what's going on? This is Ross Omari of sqspthemes.com. Today, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Squarespace versus Shopify. So if you are trying to set up a store on either one of these platforms and you're trying to figure out which one is right for you, hopefully I can give you some insight onto um, the differences here so you can make a, a decision for yourself. Now, I, I already tried to do this video one time and you know, basically the video got screwed up. So um, I've already gone ahead and created a basic, a really, really basic, simple one product um, site on, on e both of these platforms just for the purpose of this demonstration. And so I'll go back through really quickly, um, you know, what it's like to actually set up a store here. And I'll start with Shopify because it's actually a little bit simpler. So when you create a free trial, which I recommend that you do for both of these platforms, you can have a 14 day free trial. You don't have to put in any credit card information. It's the best way to just try it out and see which, you know, which one feels right. Um, so I, I did that for Shopify here. And the first thing you get to do is you can add a product, customize theme, and then add a domain. So I already went ahead and I, uh, uh, added a product. So if I go to products, you'll be able to see the product that I added. It's a simple, simple bean bag. All right. So one bean bag here and, um, yeah, and that's it. And then now the next step that I went ahead and did. So obviously if you had more products, you just add all your products in there. And then the next step is to actually customize the theme the, the look and feel of your store. So let's take a look at the theme we have. Now, uh, Shopify has free themes that you can go through, and they've also got a, a theme store where you can buy a, a theme that is a little bit more customized, has a little bit more original look and feel. And those themes typically cost anywhere from a hundred to a, a couple, three hundred bucks or so. Um, those are premium themes, but they've also got free themes that are, are, are nice as well. So we've got a free theme here that we've customized. Well, I haven't actually customized it, but um, I added the logo. <laughs> All right, so there's basically two panels here with with Shopify. You've got the back end there where you can go through all your products and go through your different settings, and then you've got this. Uh, theme customization view where you can actually, you know, play with the look and feel of your site here. So you can drag around different sections. You can add a section and you can see the different things that you can add. You can add a video, you can add a map, you can add more slideshows. You know, you can basically style and create this, this homepage look here that you got. Um, you can edit your header and then there's theme settings that allow you to change the colors, the typography, your favicon, etc. All right. So if I was to, for example, edit this, the slider here, all right, I would drag and drop some images in. Okay. So I guess I'll just use, oh, look at that. So there's some images here that I can just use. That's cool. All right, so there you go. Just to show you what that looks like. So these would be different collections and I only have one product and one collection. And so that's what that looks like. Um, and so I'm just gonna hit save and that's pretty much that's pretty much just a real, real super duper high level look at Shopify. Uh, some of the more interesting things that you might want to consider are the fact that Shopify allows you to use multiple payment gateways, not just Stripe and PayPal. Um, there's a bit more customization that you could do with the taxes, I believe. Um, and then another really important uh, thing that you can do with Shopify is not only do they have a theme store, 
but they also have an app store. And so the app store is really, really extensive. There are hundreds, not thousands of apps that just really give you a lot of extra features that help with your marketing, your sales, uh, that are really specific to e-commerce. And this is something that you don't, you don't have with, with Squarespace. And I think it, it's what makes Shopify really appealing for e-commerce owners is the amount of tools and features that are really specifically just geared to um, helping you sell more of your products. Now let's jump over to Squarespace. And so again, I've, I've kind of done something similar and just added a product here just to demonstrate, added the logo as well. So this is what Squarespace looks like once you've created a, a new trial. And the template we're using is Brine, which is a popular template for, for commerce sites. And the first thing you can do is you can edit the pages. So I, I didn't actually show you how to add more pages with Shopify. I'll go back and show you that in a moment. But here, this is where you'd add your pages. Um, and so I've added a shop page here. And on the shop page, excuse me, we've got our beanbag product, which you can see right here. Okay, I'm gonna hit back. All right, so here's our beanbag product. Um, and the, the big difference here is that Squarespace is a lot more visually focused. So you've always got your site in view here. Um, never, I mean, it goes away if you kind of open up the shop and extend that out. But for the most part, you're just um, toggling through different settings here and you can still always go back and edit different sections of your site. Um, it's not as modular as Shopify where you can just drag and chop different sections. Uh, it's a bit more dynamic in a somewhat restricted way, if that makes sense. Anyway, uh, if I go to site styles, that's comparable to my theme settings. And this allows you to change different colors, change your typography, and a good way to, to navigate the site styles is to actually go to the page that you want to, you know, customize or style in some way, and then actually click on that element. So if it's the navigation, you click over it, then all of the different options that you can change show up over here on the left. All right. Um, so if I click on the product here, I can change the, you know, the aspect ratio. Um, there's a, you know, a bunch of different things that you can change. All right. So let's hit save. Now, how long did it take me to do this? Just, you know, a couple of minutes on both, on both platforms, but with Squarespace, I have, I probably have to do a lot more massaging in terms of styling these pages and setting up these pages. And, um, you know, the, the default themes and templates I really love. I think they're beautiful, um, but it's just not exactly, um, you know, 100% geared to e-commerce, though they're, they, you know, they are adding features all the time that help to make it a better commerce platform. I think Shopify is just simply geared specifically for commerce. So that said, you know, what, what would be kind of like the big, the big kind of differentiators? And I think a, a couple of things. One, the templates with, uh, with Squarespace, all of the templates are built into the platform. They're free. Um, they look really good, but they require just a little bit of finesse to really, um, you know, really style them in, a, in an interesting way. With Shopify, you're dealing specifically with kind of more standard e-commerce style templates. And because of the modular structure, uh, there's less room for you to, I mean, 
you know, you still have to be able to finesse and, and make the site look good, but there's less room for error in terms of just having something really simple set up. What else is there? Um, another big thing, like I mentioned before, is the gateways, the payment gateways. With Squarespace, you've got Stripe and you've got PayPal. With Shopify, you've got Stripe, PayPal, and maybe, you know, a hundred other payment gateways that you can possibly use. Why would that matter? Maybe you've got high risk products. Maybe you've got products or maybe you, you've got, maybe you just don't like Stripe or PayPal. Maybe that's not the gateways that you want to use. Um, Shopify allows you to break that. Um, apps. Squarespace doesn't have any built-in apps per se. Uh, Shopify has hundreds of, of built-in apps. Um, let's see what else. Pricing. Okay, let's let's talk about pricing really quickly because I think that's probably the, the, the last kind of major difference here that we can discuss. All right, so these are the Squarespace commerce plans. You've got one that's 30 bucks a month and another that's 46. And if you get the annual plan, you can save some money. Uh, but basically, what you're looking at with the basic plan is 30 bucks a month. You can sell unlimited products. There are no trend. There are no, I should say, no additional transaction fees, meaning you're not paying Squarespace any transaction fees. Um, but what you don't get with this basic plan is you don't get subscriptions and you don't get abandoned cart auto recovery or some of the advanced shipping functions, um, gift cards, flexible discount or access to the orders API. Um, so, you know, if, if these things don't make any sense to you and they're just not important, then the basic plan is probably the right place to start. Now, Shopify also has a basic plan that is actually comparable at $29 a month. So it's actually cheaper if you go month to month with, with Shopify. And I'm trying to pull it up for you here. Shopify.com pricing. All right, so you got your two tiers here with, with, um, with Squarespace and then with Shopify, you've got three. So you've got a basic, you've got a middle tier at $79 a month and then an advanced plan at, at $300 a month. So if you're just starting out, you know, probably the basic plan is all you need. What would you be missing out on? Gift cards, some extra reporting functionality. And the major difference between these different plans comes down to the fees. All right, so um, you've got an extra 2% fees. Wait, these are additional fees using all payment providers other than Shopify payments. So, okay, so if you use the built-in payment providers that come with Shopify, which is, I think it's Stripe-based, um, you're looking at 2.9% plus 30 cent uh, transaction fees. And I think... I think that's specific to Stripe, so you'd pretty much be paying the same thing with Squarespace, even though they don't note it on their pricing page. And then as you move up, um, that rate actually gets cheaper. So if you're doing a lot of volume, then you know you'd probably end up moving up to this middle or higher tier. But if you're just starting out, then the basic plan is probably all you need. And then I'll mention while I'm here that Shopify also has a light plan. Now this is only $9 a month. And what this plan does is it gives you all of the back end features and, and functionality of Shopify and allows you to, to have your own products, but create a buy button that you could then use on some other platform. So you can very well use Shopify with Squarespace. And if you were to do that, then let's look at our pricing. Uh, you could use, you can go to the business plan, which is either 18 bucks a month if you, you know, get the annual plan or 26 bucks a month. And then you can add that to your $9 a month with Shopify. And you've pretty much created a hybrid platform 
where you get the best of both worlds. So if you're a fan of the Squarespace templates and um, the pages and the blog, then, but you need some of the extra functionality of Shopify, then that's a good way to go. And so before I finish this video, I promised I'd show you how to add more pages to your store. So if you click on your store here, you'll see pages and you'll see blog posts. So let's click on pages. All right, so here I can add, I can add pages. So I can add an about page, you know, I can add a contact page. Um, and I would just put all of my content in here. All right, so it's not visual like on the, on, on the uh, Squarespace side where I could create a page and I can edit all of the, the content there. With Shopify, I'm editing the content in the back end and then I have to preview it to see what it would look like. So that that's one thing I wanted to um, also make note of. If you've got any questions, leave them be, leave them below. I hope this kind of gives you a really high level kind of overview of the difference between these two platforms um and yeah man again if you've got any questions leave them in the in the comments and i'll you know if you need me to do a video or i go into something specific or something deeper i'm happy to do that as well all right next time peace